Parliament, which gets underway tomorrow in Senton, is always such a, a technical and a, and a general conversation, but we're going to whittle it down to individual benefits. The Upongolo municipality in the northern Guazulu Natal is also bracing itself for possible investment opportunities that may emerge from this gathering. The municipality, which is strategically located at the border with Swaziland and the Mpumalanga province, is highly dependent on agriculture and tourism. It's also home to three major rivers and sources of water, the Mkuse River, Pongola River and Pongola Port Dam. Now joining us in studio, and would like to welcome the mayor uh, of this diversified economy, Bawinile Ntlabati, the mayor of Upongolo. Thank you so much for making it through. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, good thanks to you and the viewers at home. Now in this day and age when we're talking a lot about, and it's also the theme of the BRICS Summit, the fourth industrial revolution, how do physical infrastructure, how does it benefit the, your municipality? We spoke about the three rivers that surround your municipality and uh, your proximity to Mpumalanga and Swaziland. How does that benefit you in this day and age? Okay. Uh, Upongolo municipality uh, or Upongolo era is uh, strategically uh, placed because we have, uh, we, we, are, we are next to the border of, of Swaziland uh, leading to, to Maputo in, in Mozambique. Uh, we also have the, the national road which is N2 leading to, to even to up, to up to Cape Town. So those are, are the opportunities that we are having. We are also, a, we, we are also the, the area that is rich in, in tourism uh, because uh, we are next to, to the Zulu Kingdom, so there's rich cultural activities that are happening there. So there are a lot of uh, activities there, and also in agriculture, we are a rich area in agriculture. So there are a lot of opportunities that the BRICS uh, countries can take uh, in Pongola. Now, you spoke a lot about tourism, but you're also a very agriculture-rich uh, 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 area, renowned for its vast uh, sugarcane plantations and string of game reserves. Um, what kind of, if a person was watching and thinking, I'd like to invest in this area, what kind of investments would you be looking for? Okay. Uh, you know, in, in, in agriculture, uh, because there, there are few, we, we, don't, we, we have only one gold mine, so we are rich in agriculture. So the opportunities are that we have a, 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 a good climate, a good weather, that people can take opportunities in, in plantation. Uh, also the tourism, we have uh, game reserves, your Italy is in Pongola, so where people can come and invest. So those are opportunities that we have as Upongola municipality. What are your plans in terms of diversifying the economy? Uh, as I've said that we are next to the bo Switzerland border, so we are planning to have, uh, to, to invest in regional mall. You, you know, there is a, we, ha we also have a, a Kolela border where people from Switzerland, from Mozambique, uh, can take opportunity we, we want to take opportunity to attract uh, tourists uh, that are coming from outside uh, we want to develop Golela uh, build some mall and a uh, regional mall because in our region the Zuland district there is no regional mall so we want to take uh, that opportunity build the, the regional mall also the the hubs because there are we, we do plantations but it's only raw materials we don't have processing plants uh, or hubs so we want to take that opportunity build the hubs and also the logistics because uh, richards bay is uh, approximately 200 kilometers uh, from which Pongola. is another big business yeah. hub yes mm. the, the business hub so we want to, to take that opportunity that the trucks that are traveling from mozambique uh, we have a hub they 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 they, they uh, upload there then to the to the hub in richards bay so <coughs> this weekend you hosting business awards tell us about uh, uh, how you go about choosing the participants and and the winners oh the participants were, were nominated by by the community at large uh, so this is the opportunity because as upongola we've not uh, really explored uh, our, the, the opportunity so we are by this uh, by, by this our award we want to recognize and appreciate business people that have been with us all along uh, employing our people because as a municipality we don't have much to, to do with employment but we rely on the private sector on the business people so we want to recognize them award them 
but also encourage those that are not in the interest in the in the in the business uh, industry yeah. that there is something that uh, we, we, we recognize that they are doing something good but also encourage the ones that are not in the in the business industry to come because there are opportunities so quite a strong uh, public private relationship you're developing there how is it yes. beneficial uh, because uh, in terms of, of the categories we we have uh, uh, there the are different categories. It's just that they're the, the slipping my mind uh, now. But we, we uh, I'm thinking of this category that we were going to award someone that is doing good in terms of paying the bills in the, uh, for in the municipality, the entrepreneur that is uh, employing more <coughs> more people. Uh, so by so doing, we also encouraging because. In order for us to, 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 to operate as a municipality, we need a uh, community to pay rates. Yeah. So wh when there is no employment, we can, people cannot pay rates. So w w when there is a, a business people that is employing more people, they will be able to, to have income and as the, as the way pay us some rates and our income as a municipality uh, grows up. So in terms of encouraging South Africans who are watching right now to visit uh, Upongolo, what can they expect? Uh, in the awards <coughs> not in the awards but if south africans wanted to come and see this beautiful okay. municipality that we're talking about uh we, s we spoke about the game ranges that exist okay. there w what can one expect oh uh, our hospitality uh our good weather uh, the climate we have beautiful mountains uh friendly people uh our cleanliness uh the, our time is very clean. Uh, hospitality of, of the people, they are friendly. Our culture, we are rich in culture. Uh, we, we have a lot of, of, of artists in Pongola that have a talent. We want uh, people to go to, to come and, and explore and see that so that they can be uh, assisted in, in the future. We thank you very much for your time and uh, all the best for the awards. Okay, thank you. We're, we're hoping Ms. so. Ms. Bawini Lentabati is the mayor of Upongolo municipality in KZN and hoping to uh, just uh, get some benefits from the BRICS summit that goes underway tomorrow in Senton. Blaine, what's on your side?